If you watched my Runway Gen 3 video yesterday, here's what I had to say about Kling AI. So Runway have now released their Gen 3 image to video model. Forget Luma, forget Kling. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. All right, I'll admit it right now. I have made a terrible mistake, guys, and here's why. So in yesterday's video, I created a Lamborghini commercial using Runway's Gen 3 image to video model, and I was amazed at how the results came out. Well, I took the same photos that were used and I gave them to Kling AI. Have a look at this comparison. In the heart of the mountains, a legend awakens. Whispering secrets of the sea. A symbol of desire in the shadows of the night. Chasing horizons with unspoken elegance. Crafted in shadows, emerging in light. Feel the thrill, hear the roar. Become part of the legend. Lamborghini, unveil the mystery. Now let me give you guys a little bit more context. I spent maybe three times more for the cost to generate that video using Runway as opposed to Kling. Now I had been using Kling AI in the last week. I was using the six free generations that everybody was getting every day. And I'd been waiting for Kling to release their subscription plans so I could do a proper review of the generator. Well, that day has come today and literally it's the day after Runway releases their image to video model. Now, before we start using the model, I want to showcase some community posts that I came across. This first one here, Seashell Scavenger by Mr. Woz. I don't know about you guys, but this is literally scaring the shit out of me. Jared Liu did a nice video. It looks like some oversized animals. You got a seagull there. Uh, and even, I mean, it's just even like you got a pelican. Not bad. The generations came out really nice. And he's using Leonardo AI as well. And then we've got Alan, it looks like he generated, it looks like some sort of sci-fi game that I've played in the past. So now let's test the model. And once I'm done with this, I'll then be able to do a comparison video between Luma, Runway and Kling. All right, first let's look at the plans. Now, if we go here where it says monthly, I selected, I believe this option here, which was the pro plan. And it gives me about 3000 credits and it costs about $18.50. All right, so this is the interface guys. So the first thing that stands out to me, the options on the left here, text to video and image to video. I like that you can just switch between the two. Then on the right here, you have sort of all of the generations and I love this scroll wheel. You can sort of just scroll between all of your generations. And then to make things even better, you can even filter text to video or image to video. And then here's the kicker, right? You press this button and the generations come out. And then the number one thing that I love, the actual video preview is right here smack bang in the middle and it's a good size all right so now let's test the model we're going to do text to video first first thing i noticed where you can enter your prompt here you can do up to 2500 characters and that's very promising when you scroll down you have settings and you there's a sort of like a, a dial here you can choose between creativity and relevance then we have two modes we've got standard mode and professional mode standard mode is faster generation speed and professional mode is better visual quality so for me all of my generations will be in professional mode three aspect ratios but to be quite honest those are these three are the most important ones and then you've got camera movement and it gives you a bunch of options to select the first thing i want to do is i want to give cling a short, medium, and long prompt and compare the results. And just for reference, a standard five second prompt cost 10 credits. A professional five second prompt cost about 35 credits and a professional 10 second cost 70 credits. So if you select the pro plan, which gives you about 3000 credits, that gives you 42 professional 10 second generations. All right, here is the short prompt and I believe it's a futuristic cityscape. Yeah, not bad. Then we have the medium prompt. It was about 482 characters. Um, look, I'll, I'll be honest, there's not much of a difference between the uh, short and medium prompt. Now we have the very long prompt. That was 2,431 characters. 
Um, yeah, look, maybe there's a little bit more detail. However, there's not really a significant upgrade from the short on the medium prompt. All right, now let's do a bunch of professional five second prompts. So this is the first one, it was about 568 characters. So it's sort of a medium. Yeah, look, very nice. Um, it, it's it, it's not bad. I, I, I don't mind this prompt. Then we've got this one, which is sort of like a mystical enchanted forest medium prompt as well. Not bad. Here's another one. It's a post-apocalyptic landscape. Then we have an alien planet. Yeah, not bad. The camera tracking's pretty good. And then last one, we've got a majestic underwater city. And yeah, look, I'm not, not too bad. I'm, I'm actually impressed. Okay, now let's check out image to video. First, I'm going to provide an image. And the image I'm going to go with was an image of me to start things off. Okay, so literally just upload it. It's very simple. Okay, so the settings also change when you do move over to image to video. Okay, so a standard five second generation costs 10 credits. A professional five second generation costs 35. And and it doesn't support 10 second image to video generations. So if you select the pro plan, which gives you 3000 generations, that's 85 professional five second generation. All right, so I'm just gonna put some information here with the photo of me to see if the model follows my instructions. And I'm gonna compare this with the generations that I did yesterday with Runway Gen 3. All right, now I'm gonna provide the model a bunch of images that I provided runway and you guys can compare the results. All right, now let's have a look at the random bunch of generations that I made today using the image to video model. Here's the first one, it's a skydiver. And I'll be honest, this is probably the first time I've been able to generate a proper looking skydiving sequence. So I like this one. Then we have this guy, he's climbing the side of the cliff. Yeah, look, not bad. All right, then we have synchronized dancing. This is not too bad, honestly. I, I know that there's a bunch of artifacts, but it still came out all right. All right, then we have multiple fish and we've got a turtle in the middle. This one actually came out very well done. All right, then we've got three friends at a park and they're having a picnic. Yeah, not bad. All right, then we have a beautiful landscape of Greece. Yeah, it's not bad. It's nothing special. The clouds aren't really moving. Okay, so I was actually really excited to generate this one with the dragon because you got the fire in the background as well. This one came out very well. All right, then we've got a very scary uh, haunted house. This would be great for horror films. Yeah, this one came out really nice. All right, then we have a runway show. Yeah, look, this is not bad. This is very accurate. The model's face is a bit glitched. Uh, uh, you know what? This one actually came out all right. We have the Taj Mahal. Not bad. I'm liking this one. Okay, this one came out really good. I mean, look at the individual crowd members, and then you've got the three individuals all moving uh, at their own pace. This one is very nice. So what are my thoughts on this generator so far? I'm not gonna give you guys a comparison right now. I'll do that in the next video. But for now, I can tell you that Kling is definitely competing right now with Runway Gen 3 and Luma Dream Machine. I'm really liking the cost. I like the interface. And I'll be honest with you, some of these generations are they're usable. Like, I mean, look, you guys saw the um, generation at the start, the car commercial, how well that came out. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think if you've tested out the model. Uh, and that's it for the video, guys. And I uh, will see you guys in the next one. Peace.